All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can kind of just make your microphone microphone sound a little bit better. Mine's over here, so I'm probably about a foot away from it. And it, even though I have this microphone, this is the Shure MV7, even though if I turn this all the way up, it's still a little bit quiet. And so uh, on Zoom calls and stuff, I just wanna have a consistent and high quality audio experience, I guess you could say for the people on the other side. And so if I'm talking loud, if I'm talking quiet, if I'm talking, um, you know, whispering or whatever, if I'm close to the mic, if I'm far away from the mic, I want it to be consistent. And so the way that I can make that happen is by using two devices. Um, I can, the devices are audio hijack for Mac and also loopback for Mac. So what we need is we need to use audio hijack. So in audio hijack, I'm just gonna create a new session. I'm assuming you have downloaded audio hijack. So I'm gonna do a new session here. We're gonna do blank and I'm gonna go to choose. And then in this new session, we're going to select an input device, which is right here, sources input device. We're gonna drag that in and that's gonna be my microphone. So select a device, the Shure MV7. Of course, the Shure MV7 is hooked up via USB. So there we go. Um, and then next, what I want to do is I want to basically, um, okay, this is fun. Next, I, I basically just want to make it sound better. So you can use uh, audio effects, like if you have plugins, like Waves plugins or something, those are audio effects plugins. I can add them in the chain here. So over here, I just typed in, if we go down to the bottom, um, if I just close all these windows, you can see audio effect audio unit effects. So if I type in, for example, RVox, which is a Waves plugin, it's a vocal compressor. And if I click on this now, I dragged it in, you can see this is um, a compressor. So if I bring this compression down, it's gonna turn the volume up of from the microphone and it's gonna then eventually compress it when it hits the threshold. And so that's gonna be really nice. And then one last thing is I'm going to um, just also drag in L1, which is a limiter from Waves, L1 limiter. And so mono, because this is just a mono source. And I'm just gonna do an output of minus three for the ceiling. And I'll just also bring the threshold up by minus three, uh, kind of arbitrary. But anyway, so let's do this. I'm going to uh, run this application here and we're going to open this up and you can see that we're getting some signal, okay? You can see that the thing's moving around. So if I turn the compressor down, blah, 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 blah. You can see it's hitting the compressor. I'm getting almost eight decibels of gain reduction, blah, 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 blah. I'm getting an output here of around uh, minus four. And so you can see if I set it, blah, blah, blah. So I'm getting up to minus three. So I can even go a little bit higher in the limiter here, maybe down to minus five or something like that. So that way I hit, I really clipped the, the top of the signal there. Anyway, but you can see how that is working. And the last thing we need to do though, is now that we have the microphone being routed into these processors, which is what we want to do anyway, um, the next thing we need to do is we need to be able to make sure that Zoom is able to see this as a device. And the way that we do that is I'm gonna come over to blocks here. I'm gonna uh, get rid of the search. We're gonna go to outputs and I'm gonna select an output device here, okay? Now what we need to do is we need to go to loopback. This is the second application from Rogue, Amelia, Rogue Amoeba that we need. So down here, loopback, bam. And in loopback, we just need to create a very simple device. So I'm gonna to go to new virtual device on the bottom left, and then we'll call this uh, loopback, we'll call this zoom mic two, okay? So if I come over to audio hijack, all I need to do is come over here and select zoom mic two. And now you can see that these two are connected. So the microphone is receiving signal, it's running through the compressors. And then um, here we have the output device and it's going to loop back up there as zoom mic two. Now when I go to zoom, I can go to zoom, I can go to preferences, I can go to audio and then right here, I could do the zoom mic two. And now you can see that we're getting some signal as I'm talking here, and we're gonna get a nice clean audio signal from this microphone through the compressors into zoom. And we're able to do that through audio hijack and through loopback.